our vision is primarily to build digital divide our focus is on uh, taking connectivity compute and ai to the remotest part of earth we are one team and the kind of work we do in our us office and india office are almost same hello everyone welcome to another episode of technopark podcast aspire stories of innovation today we are going to have a very special guest he is the managing director and head of india r&d at armada a pioneering technology company working at the forefront of ai distributed cloud and edge computing he established and now leads armada's r&d center in trivandrum building a world class team working on cutting edge technologies in addition to his role at armada he is an active angel investor with the kerala angel network and has previously held leadership and architectural roles at indigo musk eny infosys consulting and more so without further delay Let me introduce to you and welcome Mr. Sharad Chandran. Thank you. Welcome, Thank you for having me. Welcome to this show. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Let's start with a little bit of history on Armada. Yeah. Can you give us a brief overview of Armada's founders and their previous ventures or their professional backgrounds? Maybe the audience will be keen to know about that. Sure, sure. Armada is founded by Dan Wright and John Runyon. Uh, ja- uh Dan was CEO of App Dynamics uh, which is an application platform monitoring company uh, and then he became CEO of Data Robot before founding Armada uh John was uh, chief legal counsel uh, of Okta which is an identity management platform they founded the company and then they roped in Pradeep Nair uh, who was uh, the youngest VP in Microsoft Azure who played a key role in uh, scaling Azure uh, in a global manner so he joined us the founding ceo so these three guys started armada as a company around 2 years back so armada operates at the cutting edge technologies as i already mentioned yeah. so what is the global vision that drives the company yeah so we are focused on our vision is primarily to build digital divide you know uh, the compute currently compute and connectivity is currently concentrated more on the urban areas and there is lack of connectivity and compute in rural or remote part of the earth so our focus is on uh, taking connectivity compute and ai to the remotest part of earth and uh, bridge digital divide for especially for making it inclusive and pervasive for people who are currently not getting access to these technologies so that is our overall uh, mission in terms of company and what we are trying to solve so let's come to the location yeah um Why did Admira choose Trivandrum as its base of operations? Yeah, Trivandrum multiple factors, definitely a lot of factors from uh cost perspective, talent availability perspective, ability to uh, attract the talent because Trivandrum has a unique uh, um the quality uh, of living no uh, mm-hmm. compared to some of the metro cities so you know the it's one of the uh, emerging tier 2 cities uh, then also uh, retaining the talent then we want to also target uh, a huge diaspora of keralites working across the world who may want to come back and work in trivandrum or c- closer to home uh, maybe taking care of uh, family or some other personal aspects so speaking of technopark has the ecosystem helped you in achieving the different aspects of uh, organizing uh, uh, a company yeah. and uh, you know um, has the ecosystem been uh, very friendly enough or has it given you challenges as well absolutely i think i i i'm quite glad I, in fact we uh, see the good thing about technopath they somehow realized our potential and they gave a red carpet welcome for us uh, gave, gave a space in a very short uh, period of time and then the technopath really helped us in establishing uh, our center here na in, uh, in uh, otherwise uh, we were we started off like a small remote kind of team but when we decided that we won't have an office culture and in office team uh then uh, uh technopar was instrumental in establishing it and has given a lot of help through uh, the whole journey of last one year in growing our team and establishing the facilities so i would say technopark offers one of the best uh, world in, world class facilities in terms of welcoming these kind of companies and helping establishing uh, the overall uh, facilities and the support system here welcoming to a uh a question which has one term which might attract the entire audience yeah. admada works with major players like spacex and microsoft yeah so how do you uh, think these associations has helped to build solutions that are scalable uh, secure and maybe future ready 
Yeah, so you, as you said, these two are one of the uh, biggest names in tech sector. No? And um, we, uh, I, I mentioned to you before about our vision of taking connectivity, compute and AA to the remotest part. Mm. So how you can take connectivity through primarily through satellite connectivity and Starlink is the lead, uh, lead provider of that. We have partnership with Starlink uh, and we also have partnership with Microsoft. These two partnerships help us in uh, getting better reach and better brand uh, in terms of uh, enhancing our ability to reach our customers, partners, build a partner ecosystem and go to different different markets across the world. No? So we are, we are not just targeting one market, we are targeting multiple markets across the world and these partnership uh, definitely help us in taking it forward. And it also help us in um, getting the latest know-how and access to technology also, no? okay. which will help us in making uh, our solutions future-proof and solve real hard problems at the edge or at the remotest part. So I think a partnership ecosystem we built over the uh, over the past couple of years, our company is really great and that is helping us take the journey forward. Uh, you already mentioned about uh, Armada working at the edge, even in low and uh, no connectivity environments. Yeah. Would you like to elaborate a little more about that? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. There are two aspects to it. One is more from an enterprise perspective. You know, companies who are operating in remotest parts. Now, like mm -hmm. say, take the case of an oil and gas company who might be operating an oil rig in a deep ocean yeah. where connectivity will be yes. very low. Uh, similarly, a mining company you know, who may have their mines in some of the remotest parts. Mm. Uh, and also all the governments. Governments have border control because they need to secure the country. So they need to have border control. Uh, then usually, you know, all the disasters hit na, like floods or cyclones, avalanche. So uh, th those again happens in mountains or remote, remote areas. Spa, remote areas na. So all these are use cases which we play into. So we enable connectivity, compute and AI applications to solve problems at these kind of areas. So mm -hmm. that is what we do. So we help bringing connectivity to those areas by giving the so products and solutions to manage Starlink connectivity in a better manner. We built our own uh, mobile data centers which you can take and enable compute quite fast there. Okay. And then uh, we also built a set of AI applications which can generate insights from the real-time data uh, mm -hmm. at the edge itself and do some real-time actions. So I think that way, uh, so that those are some of the real use cases yeah, yeah. of what I meant by uh, bridging the digital divide and solving problems at the edge. Um, so with um 30 billion plus IoT devices expected by 2030. Yeah. What role can a place like uh, Kerala, especially Technopark, play in shaping that future? Yeah, that is a huge number of IoT devices. Right. Now, that means that a huge number of that or huge amount of data is getting created. Right. So that, especially unstructured data in the form of sensor data, uh, camera feeds. Right? So that's a huge gold mine of yes. information, I would say. Right? So I, you need to build solutions uh, which can solve or take that data and create insights and and value out of that. No? Yep. I'm pretty sure uh, Technopark, if you build a right technology ecosystem and a startup ecosystem, can play a big role in tapping that and creating value uh, uh, for the companies and uh, everyone in general. So I think Technopark is in the right position to build that talent and uh, startup ecosystem. Uh, to tap those kind of advancements in technology. Since you mentioned about uh, Technopark and Kerala, what aspects of Kerala's uh, talent ecosystem has worked well for Armada? Yeah. So uh, initially, we were a bit apprehensive to be very open and frank about uh, opening it in Trivandrum and Kerala and whether we get the talent or not. But our experience uh, have showed that that's not true at all. In fact, we were able to get the, get the best talent. We were able to attract the best talent. And I felt that um, uh, the uh, engineers here, uh, they go to other places because of the lack of opportunity uh, or the lack of ability to learn from uh, the, the work they start. So I think that way we were able to attract some of the best from the colleges uh, in terms of the fresh talent. And we were also able to attract some of the talent from other markets like Bangalore, Hyderabad, Delhi, Bombay, who want to come back and settle in, uh, even from outside also, uh, like Middle East and all who are working in Middle East. So uh, I think uh, we have the talent and if we create the right kind of opportunities here, uh, I'm pretty sure uh, people will come back and work here and that creates the ecosystem which I mentioned before. No? So uh, when we bring in talent from um, any place, 
uh, we have to nurture them, right? Yeah, yeah. We have to provide them uh, opportunities is one side and we have to give them the opportunity to learn and develop and uh, uh, bring and upskill them as well. Yeah. So in those lines, you have something to say. Yeah, so I would say um, our learning or upskilling is primarily by giving opportunity to work with some of the best minds in technology who are primarily working in Silicon Valley and those kind of areas. No? Okay. So if you look at our talent in US, those are all from all the top companies like Amazon, Microsoft, Google, Meta kind of companies. Okay. So once these, uh, the people who joined in Armada in, in Trivandrum, uh, uh, they start working with those people, that itself is a natural process of learning, I would say. And it kind of forces them to stretch themselves. Uh, mm -hmm. and uh, and upskill themselves no? think so, beyond yeah yeah ex exactly so that that's i i think our talent the talent development strategy is to give more challenging and um, and uh, uh, encourage uh, or enjoyable work for them uh, where they get the opportunity to experiment or uh, take hands-on work in some of the latest uh, tech, uh, I would say. Mm -hmm. So I think we were quite, uh, so far we were quite good in giving that opportunity and that's one of the reasons of we were able to attract the best talent and uh, we hope to continue to do that in the coming uh, years also. So since you um, mentioned Silicon Valley, uh, one question related to that. How does the innovation potential here compare with what you see in hubs like Silicon Valley or even Europe? Yeah, I'm not a big fan of comparing between this because everything operates in different environments right. and contexts. But I would say we are in a very good position and we have a, uh, looking forward, we have a lot of opportunities in front of us mm. in, um, in uh, providing uh, the facilities and opportunities for our own talent to g grow and develop that ecosystem so that we can compete with something like Silicon Valley. So, uh, can you tell us more about uh, the work culture which you are building at Armada's office, especially India's or India office. Yeah. So we are, we are looking for uh, people who come and believe and be passionate about the vision I mentioned uh, and can live the mission. Yeah. And then definitely uh, I mentioned to you about uh, the kind of people um, whom they get to work with in terms of the talent. Uh, so someone who is looking for that kind of a learnability and uh, ability to work with those kind of people who is uh, very curious to learn and, and try different things about technology. Okay. And we being a startup, especially a startup on steroids, how we call it as, uh, our environment is high pace. So someone who can operate at that pace, uh, yeah, uh, is definitely something which we are looking at uh, people. Uh, then um, we believe things are done in a collaborative way. No? And uh, it's all about working together. So people who can work as a team, uh, and collaborate. So, um, are there any upcoming projects or use cases, especially around public services, yeah. maybe sustainability or even rural development uh, that your our or your India team is contributing to? Yeah, yeah. So, as I mentioned before, uh, we are not delineated like typical uh, service. We are not an offshore development center. Yep. We are one team and the kind of work we do in our US office and India office are almost same. Okay. We are just split by the features we do. No? So from that perspective, everything we do uh, contributes or at the center of what the company is doing overall also. Okay. Coming back to your question about uh, public, as I mentioned, uh, government is one of the biggest yeah. industry and the customer we are targeting in terms of multiple areas. Uh, that includes border security and border control, uh, then all the disaster recovery like uh, emergency response and uh, mm -hmm. those kind of things. But another thing which we are working, it's not uh, from a global perspective is rural development is one of the focus areas we have. Okay. Uh, we we want to, uh, we are working with some of the leading NGOs in that space in terms of rural health and rural education by uh, providing better connectivity to schools and hospitals. Uh, we also are working on some of the use cases around mobile clinics in rural areas, mm. uh, which is connected with a lot of the latest technology enabled medical uh, services and those kind of things. So, so we are working on those areas to answer your question. And coming back to the sustainability aspect, whatever we are building in terms of the compute, we are uh, embedding sustainability from the start itself. We want to be a green, zero carbon okay. kind of uh, infrastructure. So, so those are, uh, and everything Indian team has some kind of involvement in all these things I mentioned also. So that way, 
we are playing a big role uh, in those kind of use cases okay okay great um so since you already have partnerships outside are you looking or uh, looking for open partnerships with uh, our uh, kerala government technopark ksu and academic institutions yeah so uh, again i mentioned i mentioned the word ecosystem multiple mm. <laughs> times okay. in this conversation so we believe in ecosystems and the building ecosystem because ecosystems is what drives us as a company and others also you know so i think we are open for any kind of partnership uh, in those uh, we are already uh, uh, engaged with you know technopark yeah. and other uh, other entities you mentioned we already engaged with some of the academic institutions here like cet and nit and all oh. uh, for talent uh, getting talent and we are all we are happy to work further towards uh developing uh, the talent in kerala absolutely uh, we are on board for that and when i mentioned about the ecosystem we believe that we are maybe one of the pioneers in uh, or a forerunner of starting something like deep tech work in trivandrum okay. which i am pretty sure will uh, attract other companies who want to set up shop here na? Huh. like i mentioned maybe when we started we were with apprehensive of the availability of talent here now uh, since we built some talent i am pretty sure other companies will be seeing that as a talent pool to tap mm-hmm. into and then more and more similar kind of deep tech companies will come here which is going to help us also because right now we have to go outside and get the talent and if the talent is here yeah, then right. we can tap onto that no? so mm-hmm. so that's why i said it's an ecosystem uh, and it's all give and take between the companies and that's how uh, the overall um, the the pool also develops so we are a big believer of building partnership and ecosystems and anything we can do around that absolutely happy to okay now uh, since that you are all you have already opened your office you have settled and uh, you are ready to build partnership and uh, well and uh, ready to go uh, right so what are your uh, growth plans for the future yeah definitely uh, we want to grow further uh, we have taken a new space uh, in technopark itself and uh, we we are adding more uh, engineers into our team here uh, and we have uh, many more uh, we, we are a, we are hiring for different roles to build our r&d capability in trivandrum further so uh, as we are coming to the end of this conversation yeah. one final question for you uh, what message would you like to share with young developers as well as entrepreneurs in kerala who are eager to explore ai yeah not just specifically a but at j i think as i mentioned before uh, let's see as a saying developer or an ang professional you should be curious and uh, you should be curious to learn new technologies and continuously adapt which is going to take you places uh, is what my advice as a professional uh, then in terms of uh, edge or it specifically at jai opportunities i mentioned to you about you asked about the question of 30 plus million devices you know so that's going to create huge data uh, at the edge and uh, that is going to give tremendous opportunities for anyone who want to tap on to that data and create value create companies uh, and create opportunities you know? so i my advice to all the young developers and entrepreneurs will be to look at that data and create uh, ways and methods to extract insights from that data and create value for you and your company okay thank you sharat it was wonderful having this conversation especially talking about uh, technologies the cutting edge technologies and uh, your mission of your company it was great to have a representative from such a company thank you for uh, coming here and uh, sharing your thoughts thank you thank you for having me and uh, i really enjoyed the conversation with you and thank you technopark for the opportunities with that we have come to the end of this episode of aspire thank you so much Thank you.